Today I'm going to show you how I set up a design study to do a convergence analysis for my mesh on an assembly. Now this is important because SOLIDWORKS simulation has abilities to do adaptive meshing and an auto convergence check for you with a part, but it doesn't have it for an assembly. And I'm going to duplicate this using a design study. So if you're not familiar with design studies, you can insert them under the insert tab in design study, provided you have simulation added in. And what you get is something like this. I'm going to look at the table view and we have a variable called mesh size and we've given it some different values. We also have a constraint uh, on, on the maximum stress within this corner curved part here on both the inside and the outside. So how I set that up is if I'm in the study that I've made and I go to my mesh, I can see that I have some values linked here. And the way you do that is you just click the drop down linked value and select the variable you want. If you haven't, if you don't have it, go ahead and make one. Choose your simulation, put in a size, and put in a name. In this case, we've already had it set up. We're good to go. And I'm just going to exit out of this. Now, once you have it set up and you have your design study and you have your values put in, and you want to make sure that you're you have a sensor created like we do up here related to simulation data and stress max over selected entity you go ahead and run it and what you get is you can define some design history graphs and we want to look at our stress how it changes with our variables and from that we get this graph and it shows us our values as we change with the mesh now we can go ahead and do a lot of editing of that um, by changing some of this in here we can change a lot of the different styles and things like that just found by right clicking but you get the general gist so that's how you do a convergence analysis with the design study now if we, if we made more points you could see it converge flatter and flatter but those runs would take a while so use a little caution. Thanks. Thank you.